Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. Greetings, space enthusiasts. Get ready for a cosmic adventure like no other as we set our sights on Betelgeuse, the colossal supergiant star hanging out in the Orion constellation. From its dazzling brilliance to the spine-tingling prospect of a supernova explosion, we're peeling back the layers of Betelgeuse's cosmic journey. And hey, did you know that Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson dropped a bombshell about the universe's expansion? Brace yourselves, because he's downright terrified, and we're diving deep into what it means. So, strap in and join us as we rocket into the cosmos, unveiling the secrets of Betelgeuse and the mind-blowing wonders it's got up its celestial sleeves. About Betelgeuse The Orion constellation is home to the red, massive star Betelgeuse. According to astrologers, it is regarded as the tenth brightest star in the sky. Although on occasion it seems significantly brighter, rising to second or even first position among the stars in Orion. Almost every person on Earth may view the heavenly jewel Betelgeuse shining in the night sky. Because of its prominent location in the Orion constellation and its vivid orange-red color, it is one of the most easily identifiable stars. Since the Orion constellation becomes visible from nearly every populated place on Earth during December, you may always keep an eye out for it during that time. On the upper left side of Orion's celestial orbit, Betelgeuse stands out like a beacon, drawing our attention to the constellation. Its brilliant red color makes it a striking star in the night sky. Betelgeuse ranks as one of the largest stars seen with the naked eye and typically claims the tenth brightest position among the stars that shines at night. Betelgeuse lies at a distance of approximately 650 light years from our planet. Locating Betelgeuse at night with the stars within the Orion constellation can lead to Betelgeuse's brilliant glow. Look out for three stars lying nearly vertical in the night sky from the northern hemisphere for easy location. What's fascinating about Betelgeuse is its variable brightness, which doesn't remain constant, like when it's plus zero, zero, or plus one, six in brightness, which is the most it can shine for a bright star. This is where it gets interesting. Sometime in 2019, something interesting happened to Betelgeuse. This gigantic red star became much dimmer for a while because it emitted a bunch of gas, turning into dust when it got colder. Could Betelgeuse be nearing its end? Are we seeing the Betelgeuse's final days or are these merely anomalies? The light from Betelgeuse faded by 60% in 2021 before gradually increasing again the following year. There were initial fears that a supernova explosion was imminent due to this dimming. It turned out, though, that the gas cloud in space was responsible since it passed before the star. Problem solved, yet the possibility of a supernova remains. Cooling and stardust, according to researchers at the University of Tokyo, were the culprits for the dimming. These researchers looked through the cosmic dust with an Earth-bound instrument to shed light on the star's bizarre behavior. There is a rationale to Betelgeuse's fading. A magnetic flare comes out of it. On occasion, it will display dark patches and hurl magnetic storms into the mix. The mysterious changes in the star's brilliance are exacerbated by this magnetic dance. A key component of the cosmic story of stars like Betelgeuse is their magnetic activity. A weak magnetic field was found on its surface by scientists, including those from France. A tiny twist, indicative of a magnetic field, was detected in the star's light, which allowed them to accomplish this. The brightness of Betelgeuse is affected by its magnetic activity, which operate like a cosmic conductor. In the midst of magnetic storms or dark areas, Betelgeuse twirls with erratic brightness. The cosmic biography of Betelgeuse is not complete without its magnetic field, which influences the star's behavior and evolution. In stellar activity, such as magnetism, the outer layers of stars expose their secrets. Betelgeuse and other big stars can be better understood by analyzing their magnetic fields. The 2019 Surface Mass Ejection SME, of the brilliant red supergiant star Betelgeuse had major repercussions. Several effects and observations were caused by the massive volume of material ejected off the star's surface during the SME. The surface mass ejection from Betelgeuse was a spectacular occurrence in terms of scale, being described as significant and gigantic. 
In comparison to a normal solar coronal mass ejection CME, the quantity of mass ejected was predicted to be about 400 billion times larger. Because of its massive size, it ranks among the most notable surface mass ejections in history. Notable outcomes and findings were produced by the SME from Betelgeuse. A change in the star's temperature was one of the most noticeable changes. After the ejection, Betelgeuse had an average photosphere that was colder. This cooling indicated a significant alteration in the star's thermal properties. The ejection's effects reached beyond the star's surface and had observable impacts on its behavior. There were also reports of unusually short photometric oscillation and reduced velocity excursions in Betelgeuse's characteristics. These changes in the star's behavior were most likely a result of the ejection and its impact on the star's dynamics. The short photometric oscillation referred to rapid variations in the star's brightness, which were not typical for Betelgeuse. These fluctuations added to the intrigue surrounding this extraordinary event. Interestingly, Betelgeuse is still in the process of recovering from the surface mass ejection. This recovery involves a complex interplay of physical processes within the star. Scientists and astronomers are actively studying the aftermath of this event to understand its implications fully. They aim to comprehend how such a massive ejection affects a star of Betelgeuse's size and type. To facilitate this ongoing study, various observatories and instruments have been employed. With its high-resolution imaging capabilities, the Hubble Space Telescope has played a crucial role in capturing detailed images of Betelgeuse's evolving features. The Stellar Robotic Observatory, equipped with state-of-the-art spectrographs and photometers, has provided valuable spectral data for analysis. The Fred L. Whipple Observatory has also contributed to the observations and analysis of Betelgeuse's surface mass ejection. These observatories and instruments have collectively allowed scientists to monitor Betelgeuse's changes, providing insights into the star's recovery process. By continuously studying the star's behavior and properties, astronomers aim to understand how massive stars like Betelgeuse respond to such extreme events. The surface mass ejection of Betelgeuse offers more than just a fascinating astronomical event. It provides invaluable insights into the behavior of massive stars like Betelgeuse. These stars are particularly interesting to astronomers because they represent the final stages of stellar evolution before a supernova explosion. Studying the effects and consequences of a surface mass ejection on a star like Betelgeuse is like peering into the initial stages of a supernova. While Betelgeuse has not yet gone supernova, understanding how it reacts to extreme events like SMEs contributes to our comprehension of the processes leading up to supernova. What effect will the surface mass ejection of Betelgeuse have on the Earth? What effect will the surface mass ejection of Betelgeuse have on the Earth? Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson discussed the possibility of Betelgeuse's detonation. As a scary cosmic spectacle that is currently captivating astronomers' interests, he forewarned of a possible explosion of Betelgeuse in one possibility. New information about Betelgeuse, he said in another scenario, may have consequences for Earth. But he avoided going into detail about these possible consequences. Once again, Tyson reassured the public that there's no cause for alarm regarding the possibility of an explosion on Betelgeuse. He further noted that the star is located 700 light-years away from Earth, which means that any impact on our world would be minor due to this immense distance. In yet another video on YouTube, Tyson dove into the continuing studies concerning Betelgeuse. In particular, he emphasized the use of state-of-the-art technology like gravitational wave detectors, which may provide further information regarding the star and the probability of its explosion. Tyson explored the idea of a massive wave striking Earth as a result of Betelgeuse's explosion in a different film, but he stressed how unlikely this is, further demonstrating that an impact on Earth would be quite insignificant. Neil deGrasse Tyson has offered a variety of viewpoints regarding the possible explosion of Betelgeuse, even though he has warned us about its cosmic importance and the ongoing studies on it, he always tells us that, the great distance between Betelgeuse and Earth will make any effects on our world negligible. Furthermore, experts have determined that the likelihood of this cosmic target practice is quite low. What if, however, the Earth experiences an unexpected effect? It probably won't cause much of an issue, 
but it could throw our electricity grids and magnetic field for a loop. But Earth's magnetic field acts as a barrier, protecting the planet from cosmic pranks like SMEs. We may be slightly more exposed if this shield isn't very strong. Unfortunately, Betelgeuse's surface mass ejection, SME, is still affecting it. Space experts believe it is undergoing a recovery process. After a steep tumble, the star is attempting to regain its cosmic equilibrium following the chaotic SME. Our knowledge of the cosmos and astronomy as a whole is enhanced by the Betelgeuse's surface mass ejection, SME, and the possibility of a spectacular supernova explosion. Scientists learn a great deal about the final chapters of a giant star's existence from studying Betelgeuse. This study sheds light on the cosmic mechanics that drive stellar evolution by revealing the complicated processes leading to the awe-inspiring spectacle of a supernova. The recent SME that Betelgeuse experienced disrupted its usual pulsations. This phenomenon provides insight into the effects of a substantial ejection on a star's dynamics. Astronomers eagerly seize this opportunity to scrutinize and comprehend the alterations in a star's behavior, deepening our grasp of celestial pulsations and their underlying causes. While a Betelgeuse supernova isn't to significantly affect the climate, the radiation emanating from such an event could induce minor cooling on Earth. Investigating the potential climate ramifications of a Betelgeuse supernova empowers us to understand how cosmic occurrences like this influence the Earth's environment. Betelgeuse supernovae could also release neutrinos. The detection and analysis of these neutrinos provide information regarding the science that governs supernovae. Neutrinos serve as cosmic messengers, conveying essential data about the inner workings of these cataclysmic events. By decoding the neutrino signal, scientists embark on a journey to unravel the universe's deepest mysteries. The Betelgeuse event also serves as a celestial laboratory for astronomers. It offers an exceptional opportunity for them to observe, scrutinize, and learn from a massive star undergoing transformative events such as a surface mass ejection or an impending supernova explosion. Multiple observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the Stellar Robotic Observatory, tirelessly capture the star's fluctuations. It will interest you to know that the supernovae have the power to indirectly impact life on Earth, albeit indirectly. Some researchers have even theorized that a nearby supernova could have played a role in the extinction of the dinosaurs. So much impact for a phenomenon like the supernova. Supernova. In the latter moments of a star's existence, it explodes in a spectacular and violent explosion known as a supernova. Chinese scientists were the first to view the incredible SN185, the first supernova ever recorded. In the year 185 AD, Astronomers from China made a groundbreaking discovery when they beheld a mysterious and very brilliant light in the sky. Its unexpected and spectacular entrance led them to dub it a guest star. A star about 8,000 light years from Earth was determined to be the source of this extreme brightness. This star, which is situated between Centaurus and Circinus, became a supernova after a catastrophic explosion. This supernova explosion produced a guest star that was vividly visible for eight months before becoming progressively less so. Because of the prolonged window of opportunity, astronomers were able to take detailed notes on the astronomical event. Supernova 185 is just one of several that have been found in our galaxy. Others include SN1006, which came from Lupus in the southern sky. Researchers have come a long way in understanding how supernovae behave. The complex mechanisms happening during these cosmic explosions can now be explained by their models. Moreover, the role of supernovae in forming new stars and their impact on the evolution of galaxies has become increasingly clear. These explosive events can momentarily surpass the brightness of entire galaxies and emit more energy than the sun will in its entire existence. A recent example of a visible supernova was SN 1987A resulting from the detonation of a blue supergiant star in the Large Magellanic Cloud. Scientists classify supernovas into two primary types, thermonuclear runaway and core collapse. The latter variety occurs in the end phase of massive stars, typically those at least eight times larger than our Sun, like Betelgeuse. As these massive stars lose pressure, gravity swiftly takes control, causing them to collapse within seconds. 
This collapse triggers the powerful explosion known as a supernova. To detect these supernovas, astrologers use different techniques and tools like the Gaia telescope, which creates a very detailed 3D map of the Milky Way by measuring stars very carefully. Then there are the sky surveys, where a sky map is created in red and the ultimate neutrino detectors. How does a supernova work? How does a supernova work? Many things occur during a supernova explosion. The voyage towards a stellar explosion often starts as a big star nears the conclusion of its life cycle. This old star is beginning to cool down after using all its nuclear fuel. The force acting outward starts to diminish as it cools. Gravity occurs when the external pressure drops below a certain threshold. Under the force of gravity, the star's core quickly collapses. The imminent supernova explosion is set in motion by this core collapse. A tremendous explosion follows the catastrophic collapse of the core. The spectacular event known as a supernova occurs when the star's core collapses, causing a tremendous shockwave to brutally destroy the star. A tremendous amount of energy is released in this explosion, which sends shockwaves and star pieces hurtling into space. Several processes combine to create the brilliant show that is a supernova. A fusion reaction may take place in the star's outer layers when the shockwave travels through the stellar material descending from the collapsed core. At the same time, a neutron star is formed when the core collapses and a flood of neutrinos is released. The energy discharge can be enhanced by reviving the shockwave with these almost weightless particles. The formation of new elements is made possible by fusion processes that take place under the severe conditions caused by the big star's gravitational pull. The rich atomic diversity of the universe is largely due to this alchemical process, and after the big explosion, fragments serve as eyewitnesses to the celestial drama. A neutron star or a black hole can be formed when these leftovers collapse extremely or when they have a dense core. These remains are still changing and adapting, interacting with their environment in complex ways. They radiate an array of electromagnetic waves and interact with nearby matter, producing complex structures that astronomers diligently investigate. Supernovae can be likened to the celestial fireworks of the universe, offering a captivating display of natural phenomena. When a supernova event occurs, various intriguing observations unfold in the night sky, illuminating the intricate processes at play. The most extraordinary supernova in history, recorded in 1006, outshone everything. It was so bright that during the daytime, its luminance stood up against that of Venus, and at night, it cast shadows on the Earth below. People across Europe and Asia can testify to this as they were awestruck by this celestial spectacle. As a supernova matures, gamma ray heating occurs, and 40 days after the explosion, nearly all the radiation we detect from the supernova arises from this heating effect. Some gamma rays escape directly into space, bypassing any interactions with matter. In the early months following a supernova's eruption, careful observers note an increase in brightness. This increase is due to the presence of radioactive nuclei within the exploded star's remnants. However, with time these radioactive nuclei transform, decaying into stable iron, and soon the additional illumination gradually fades away. As a massive star reaches its dramatic finale, the intense heat generated by the collapsing core triggers fusion reactions. These reactions give birth to atomic nuclei that had never existed before. The peak of a supernova event is marked by a cataclysmic explosion that unleashes an immense shockwave. This shockwave, born from the core's catastrophic collapse, shatters the star into fragments and propels them into the cosmos. Could this be the phenomenon Betelgeuse is undergoing? Let's find out. End of Betelgeuse's Journey Many believe that the Betelgeuse's astronomical tour is coming to a close. If this is so, how does it culminate in such a shocking explosion? Using its nuclear fuel as a massive furnace, Betelgeuse has been doing this for a very long time. The star is being pulled inward by gravity, but the heat and energy it generates as it burns pushes outward. It spends the vast majority of its existence in a cosmic tug of war, with pressure and gravity maintaining a delicate equilibrium. However, as Betelgeuse begins to cool down and lose fuel, the balance tips. When a star's pressure drops to a certain point, it collapses in an instant due to the forces of gravity. The impending disaster seems to have been set in motion by this catastrophe. 
Betelgeuse is ripped apart by a supernova that is set off by the star's implosion, sending an energy surge racing through space. Numerous events transpire throughout this cosmic eruption. The outer layers of the star, propelled by the collapsing core's shockwave, start fusing elements. As the core collapses, it forms a neutron star, creating a flood of tiny particles called neutrinos. These particles add to the explosion's energy. As it approaches its explosive end, Betelgeuse becomes an element factory where the intense heat causes fusion reactions, where atomic nuclei combine to create new elements. However, after the supernova's dazzling display, the remains of elements could be a super-dense core called a neutron star, or, if things are even more extreme, a mysterious black hole. These remnants don't just fade away. They continue to change and interact with their surroundings, emitting various types of light and radiation. The potential consequences of a Betelgeuse supernova are a subject of great interest and study among astronomers and scientists. Potential Effects of a Betelgeuse Supernova A Betelgeuse supernova would be a breathtaking celestial event, but we must be aware of the consequences it could have on our planet. A Betelgeuse supernova would produce UV radiation as one of its most noticeable effects. There is a chance that this ultraviolet light can cause a temporary loss of the ozone layer over Earth. The stratospheric ozone layer absorbs and blocks a large fraction of the sun's dangerous ultraviolet radiation, which is essential for the survival of all life on Earth. More ultraviolet radiation reaching Earth's surface would be a cause for alarm if the ozone layer were to deteriorate. Ozone depletion due to a Betelgeuse supernova would probably be small and temporary, according to studies and simulations. The ozone layer can naturally restore itself over time, unaffected by long-term exposure to things like certain compounds produced by humans. So, although the ozone layer could get thinner for a few while after the supernova's UV burst, it won't hurt Earth's ecosystem or any living forms therein in the long run. A large-scale neutrino explosion is another potential impact of the Betelgeuse supernova on Earth. Subatomic particles called neutrinos are created in a supernova explosion and other nuclear events. The supernova explosion of a big star like Betelgeuse discharges a large number of neutrinos into interstellar space. Neutrinos rain is a common name for this occurrence. The neutrinos released by a Betelgeuse supernova are many, yet they wouldn't be directly harmful to Earth's biosphere. Because of their incredibly little mass and extremely weak interactions with matter, neutrinos stand out among subatomic particles. This implies that the Earth and its inhabitants would be relatively unaffected by the neutrinos released during a supernova. Their passage through the Earth would go largely unnoticed, without causing harm or disruption, as they would not ionize atoms or molecules in our bodies or the environment. Instead, these neutrinos would serve as cosmic messengers carrying information about the supernova event itself. If the Betelgeuse has not yet experienced a supernova, what is happening to it? Astronomers are on a mission to determine if Betelgeuse, a giant star in Orion's shoulder, is about to go supernova, or if it just has a stellar mood swing. Betelgeuse has a habit of brightening and dimming. While this isn't unusual for aging stars, astronomers watch these changes to see if there's a pattern. Lately, Betelgeuse got dimmer for a while, and then it suddenly got brighter again. This action made some astronomers wonder if it was preparing for a supernova. As if that wasn't enough, Japanese astronomers made an interesting discovery. They found that Betelgeuse is burning carbon in its core, which is a cosmic sign that Betelgeuse is in its late stages of life. Present-day astronomers use super-smart computer programs to predict the future of stars like Betelgeuse, these digital crystal balls help them understand what's happening inside the star. Some virtual crystal balls say Betelgeuse could go supernova in the next 100,000 years. Others say it might take even longer. Outro As we conclude our cosmic journey through the realms of Betelgeuse, the mysteries unravel, leaving us in awe of the vastness and complexity of the universe. From its fiery brilliance to the cosmic ticking time bomb of a potential supernova, Betelgeuse has not failed to mesmerize. If you enjoyed our interstellar adventure and want more cosmic content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for future explorations into the wonders of the cosmos. Until our next cosmic escapade, keep looking up, stay curious, 
and let the mysteries of the universe continue to captivate your imagination.